What is actually a wall ride? A wall ride is something that's taken from skateboarding. Right. Where it's a trick where you go up and just kind of ride on the wall and come off of it. Could so you I, ever wall ride? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a really so, hard trick. Yeah. They're surprisingly hard on like a skateboard or a bike or if something. If you play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, it's like one of the first things you do. Oh, it's cool, you're wall riding everything. Yeah. And it's not that easy. What's fun about drones though, is that wall ride is not too difficult of a trick. So you can live out your skateboard fantasies. Exactly. Perfectly designed for doing a wall ride. Like, right. you know, it's something that you can just huck and let it just coast. Yeah. And then, you know, just go for as long as you, you know, you huck it for and then it will come off. So the wall ride in theory is a pretty simple trick. You basically just do a 90 degree roll. So you go into a knife edge position and carry your momentum. And you want to do that very close to a surface. So you can actually practice out in the open air, just go into knife edge, bring it back, try to go fast, carry that as long as you can, and then find yourself an obstacle that you can safely and comfortably start trying to get closer and closer to. You guys may have seen some pro pilots get really close to some glass. It's probably not a good idea if you're learning how to do this. Yeah. If you're a little bit more comfortable doing this trick and you're willing to assume the risks of flying that close to glass, that's on you, make your own call. We recommend maybe something like this right here where nothing's really gonna happen if we smack into that wall. Right? Yeah, so these are the perfect walls for wall riding because they're just smooth. The quad, even if it bumps up against it, it's not gonna like send it flying. As long as you just, you know, you lightly hug the wall, then yeah. it's just gonna skim right along it. We're gonna watch Vanover wall ride and he's gonna show us how it's done. And then we're gonna try it and then we're gonna get told how we could do it better. It, and, uh, it's just part of the, it's constructive criticism, Bardwell, okay? I think, uh... If there's, if there's one thing about these pilots is that they are good at being gentle and constructive and not too yeah. critical. Listen yeah. up. The entire FPV community just, you suck at wall rides, okay? <laughs> so Alex is going to be flying the Avatar system using the Fat Shark Dominator goggle. We've got the USB-C port hooked up to this Shinobi monitor, so we're going to be able to watch as he's flying, which is really convenient. Mm -hmm. One thing to note, you need to know what the monitor can handle. So this monitor actually can't handle anything higher than 60 frames per second. So while the goggles can display up to 100 frames per second, because we're using this monitor which can't handle higher than 60, we had to set it to standard frame rate, which is 60 frames per second. Alrighty, so let me just kind of start by demonstrating a wall ride and see if okay. I can even do it decent. That was a good wall ride, Alex. That was, was a good that? wall ride. What makes it a good wall ride? I feel like the longer you can ride, the wall makes it pretty good. And also, if you're really smooth at it, too. It's tough because your that props are constantly one. pulling you away from the wall the whole time. Now, should you tap the wall? I feel like it's fun to tap the wall, but you can't. You don't want to like slam into it. Like in my opinion, a bad wall ride would be like. Okay, and then your quad just goes black. Whoa. And then you line a side it back Why? with no sunglasses. Wow. Video videos that back. Is that Bro. was incredible. I have never seen anybody do that. We're back. Talk about that. That was incredible. I've never seen it before. <laughs> that was. And we're back. I guess you shouldn't tap the wall then. Yeah, right. right we'll just tap far. it gently. Well, you can tap it. Let me see if I can do one more good one. I mean, what you're going for. Right? Woo! Oh, that was a good one. That was, that good one. was hot. And you can kind of do some variations on them as well. Like, you know, we've just been doing a standard wall ride, but some guys will like come up to them and they'll like yaw backwards like that, you know, do something a little bit different. And there's, of course, the iconic reverse wall ride that Johnny did where he kind of like flicks it back and that wasn't a very good one at all. But I think the standard way to do it and the way you should start doing it is come up to it gently like this, kind of arc it. I see you holding it there. As you start to drop, you don't pull out. You're not coming straight at the wall. Correct. Like, right. I think a lot of people's instinct is to go straight at something, just go knife edge and then hope that they're gonna carry that on the wall. But the problem is that even when you're off the throttle, the props are still pulling you off the wall. Mm -hmm. So by going in at an angle, you're giving it an mm -hmm. opportunity to have some momentum towards the wall. Mm -hmm. And then what you're doing yeah. is feathering yeah, the throttle nasty. to kind of just keep it right away from the wall, mm -hmm. but still going forward. And you hold that as long as you can, as close as you can. And I feel like you don't have to touch the wall necessarily for it to be a good wall ride, as long as you get really close to it though. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I I think the best th wall rides are when you're right on the wall, but never touch it. Like, this is really a maneuver that's all about throttle control. That's the best piece of advice I can give, is just having really good throttle control. So here we go, I'm gonna line up for the wall. I'm gonna do this one that's straight ahead of me here. So I'm gonna come into it at like a 20 degree angle. I'm gonna give it a little bit of throttle and then drop it back and just really hold the controls nice and still. You roll the quad into the angle you want. So here we go, we're gonna line it up. We're gonna come in at an angle. We're gonna give it a little bit of throttle, bring the throttle to zero. Maybe you have to gas a little bit just in case you feel like you're gonna hit the wall. 
but you don't want to you know, like pump the throttle too much and then you know separate the drone from the wall. You just want to be really, really smooth. I think this is a maneuver that requires being really smooth on the sticks. I want to try. Yeah, I want to see you do. Okay. Let's see what you got, Bardwell. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Bardwell, that was really good. That one was a little off the wall. I could have been closer. Yeah, I think that's so what, what that's what you don't like to see it, right? Yeah, so one thing you might try to do is go like on this one you're going 90 degrees so you're parallel to the wall yeah um and maybe on that last one you're about 45 degrees you think i should what do you mean uh like everything you're doing there now is like you want me to be parallel to the wall yeah yeah when you when you do a really good wall ride you're you're riding the wall parallel to it well you want me to be i see yeah i do think i didn't fully roll over exactly yeah you need to do about a 90 degree roll to get nice. That was pretty there good. You go. yeah. I see. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was, I was kind of just not quite rolling all the way, trying to keep a little bit of up. I mean, a lot of the time I'll be out doing tricks. I'll think I've got this great wall like ride, that? and I'll come back. Yeah, that was perfect. I don't know how I feel about going above the wall now that I'm seeing oh. it. I'm not a big fan of above the wall. Yeah. Especially because there's a big risk of going above no, the that wall. Was bad. That's something to keep in mind. You could go. If you go on above the, roof. the wall, you could end up on the roof. Yep. If you stay yeah. below the top of the wall, you have mitigated your risk. I like that one. See, I don't mind the little tap as long as it's not like, it's just a tap and isn't like a bonk. Yeah. See, I did, that one, it's I was too close to the wall when I started. I didn't get the in, I only had the out. Because you got to punch the throttle to go up, and that's going to pull you away from the wall if you're already tilted. So it's up and then rotate at yes. zero throttle. Yeah, you need to drop throttle a little bit sooner there. Yeah. <laughs> favorite wall right here so I come at a rather aggressive angle sometimes because you can still with pitch after you've boosted you know flatten onto that wall you pitching back a little is what yeah, you're saying yeah yeah so I'm pitching back and just applying enough throttle to stop it or maybe no throttle I see so you like kind of pitch back once you get you like go at it and then you pitch back to like yeah, arrest see, I the could movement. come like from here <gasps> Okay, so you do it different. So like Vanover is using throttle input to arrest the movement. You're using pitch. That's that's an interesting take yeah. on it. I mean, either way, it's throttle input, I suppose. But yeah. he's doing it more like naturally, I guess. Yeah, and it lets you drift further. I feel like. I think it does. Too. On like, the flip side, with the aggressive angle. On the flip side, it's making you look more away from the wall. I want to see more of the wall in the camera, right? Mm. But that looks really good. Now, oh, that one looks yeah. really good. When I'm done here, is like a vanny roll. I saw the vanny roll one. That's that was cool. cool. That came down a little hard on that. Didn't one. lose video. Pit crew, pit crew, pit crew, pit crew, pit crew, pit crew. Here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh, that's such a slow pit stop. Holy cow. Jeez, F1 would fire you by now. <laughs> no, you're fine. But yeah, so once you've mastered, you know, that uh, more basic wall ride, then you can start doing things like yaw spins and, and other. Jaw spin. You know, other types of tricks. Oh, you kind of entered it backwards. Oh, there. I like how exactly, you yeah. It too. Yeah, I tend to go into them forward and then reverse. I know you were talking about the Johnny one where it's kind of like a juicy flick, right? That was nice. Back. Trying to think of some of the other tricks that you would just do normally and just put it on a wall. Some of the combos you were doing. I love how creative it's possible to be with such a simple obstacle. 
if you're out there feeling like, oh, I don't have good spots, yes, you do. You just gotta push your creativity. It's around. like people who didn't have half pipes, they invented street style, and street right. style's just as good as half pipe, right? Yeah. This is kind this of is the street the style of FPV. This is it. Wall rides are a lot harder than I kind of remember them being. I like flying around trees and stuff like that, so you don't really do wall rides. So I know how to do them, but actually coming out here today and like trying to do them for the episode, I was just kind of thinking to myself, wow, these are actually really hard to do well. Like it's, I think it's not the hardest trick to just do in general, but to do it well without like slamming into the wall or riding it all the way, like, it's something that takes a lot of practice and definitely something that I'm gonna be trying a lot more. Well, we appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button to let us know you had a great time. If you guys wanna support us, please go check out our store. That's how we're able to just afford to do any of these videos. So if that's the way you wanna support us guys and you like these videos, then go buy some stuff from the store. We'll see you next time on Road to Riot. Ooh. Oh, you gotta go sideways. Wait, wait, wait. Just because it's happening right now. <laughs> Rotoriot is a serious, publicly traded company. <laughs>